Does your flash need a boost? Amp it up. Using the new Scaleform Amp Profiler, developers can quickly tune flash content to run more efficiently on consoles, PCs, even mobiles. The Amp client remotely connects to your game or application, which includes the GFX Runtime Engine. Once connected, the memory and performance statistics are streamed to the client and displayed in a set of easy-to-use graphs and detailed reports. Using these graphs, developers can quickly identify the problem areas, then drill down to find out exactly where the issues lie. In this example, we'll look at a few simple 3D flash menus. Let's start with the CPU usage. CPU is separated into two parts, advance and display, which are each measured in milliseconds and stacked on one another to form the total CPU time used by GFX in each frame. When a spike or abnormally high time is reported, simply select the frame and use the function tree below to identify the problem. If action script is too slow, you can drill down to see exactly what script is taking the most time. Using the source view, you can even see per line timings. Now let's take a look at rendering. Optimizing flash content is often a matter of understanding the rendering bottlenecks, especially the number of draw primitives, triangles, masks, font rendering, and more. The graph in summary allow you to quickly identify problem areas and content that are causing the rendering to be slow. For instance, if a new graphical element caused too many draw primitives, or perhaps a new pop-up caused too much time to be spent in font rendering, you'll be able to quickly identify these problems. We're also adding special display toggles to visually identify the problem areas at runtime, such as the amount of overdraw. Finally, we'll take a quick look at memory. The memory graph highlights a number of key areas such as movie data, images, video, fonts, mesh cache, and more. Using the memory ports, you can see exactly what's being allocated. Right now, there are two different reports. One is organized by group, such as movie data, images, or fonts, and the other is by heaps which break things down more by file. Now let's profile GFX running inside of Unreal Tournament 3. We'll begin with the main menu. Now let's take a look at the in-game HUD. We'll also pop up a scoreboard. As you can see, AMP is fully connected and tracking within the game. We're eager to hear your feedback on how to make AMP even better. Oh, and just for fun, I thought you'd enjoy knowing the AMP's UI is made entirely using GFX itself, so AMP can even Profile AMP. We'll be using Scaleform for all our tools going forward. You'll be using AMP to profile and tune flash content inside your game running on any device, leveraging the visual graphs and detailed CPU, rendering, and memory stats, even full action script profiling, to make your content as fast as possible. Optimizing flash has never been easier.